Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have fun doing a get ready with me playing with some new makeup. I have got a new bougie foundation that we'll be using today. This is the La Prairie Skin Caviar Essence in foundation. So we're going to be using that today. We're going to be creating a little blue vibe today. This is the denim eye quint. And yep, yeah, I think you guys think I've gone completely crazy. This is way out of my comfort zone, even more than buying a big palette. But you guys, it just looked so pretty. And I had a YOLO moment where I was like, why not have fun? That's the whole point of makeup. So we're going to be creating a little fun kind of look using the denim eye quint as well as using the Dior limited edition blush and then we're going to be finishing with the perfect nude combo from Victoria Beckham. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look then let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys let's get some makeup on this face. We're going to start with a bougie sort of foundation today. This is the La Prairie and this is is the Skin Caviar Essence in Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF. So yes, I have a little friend down at the La Prairie counter who has been telling me that I have to try this Essence Foundation. Now I already have the Skin Caviar Foundation, you guys. Yes, it's super expensive, but yes, it is one of my favorites. So she finally convinced me that I needed to give this a try. And we're going to go ahead and put this on my skin. So you guys inside, it is a kind of cushion, but it's a little bit different than that. It has a little bit of a mesh little screen here. So it's not like the cushions where they kind of dry out with a sponge. The product is you're going to push it down just like that and then it brings up some of the product okay so I'm going to just put this on and then you just kind of so I have gotten several little request to review this. So I do have a little friend who works at the La Prairie counter and she has been telling me I need to review this foundation forever. So she thinks it's pretty magical on the skin. You guys, uh, it is described as going to have a dewy radiant finish. And I was telling her that I had bought that Clay Depot Radiant Cushion, but that it was too dewy for me, kind of too heavy feeling. And she's like, you have got to try ours. Um, it is expensive, but she's like, there is a refill and you use very little product. So she convinced me that this would be a good little foundation to try because I already love the other one. I just wish that it wasn't so darn expensive. So, so kind of helping out a little friend as well as having a little curiosity filled. You guys, this is sort of one pump of that product. And just like the other foundation I have, I have this one and you guys, it does feel lovely on the skin. It makes my skin kind of flawless very comfortable and this does claim to have many skincare benefits to it. So it's going to come in a box like this and we were kind of debating between just N20 which was pure ivory or pesh and we ended up going with the pesh because it sort of blended everything out between my neck and my face and the ivory has a bit more of kind of yellow undertones versus this one has a little bit more 
cool undertones, but I'm not finding it to be like super pinky or anything. I felt like it kind of just matched my skin and um, when they were doing matches, which is a little bit hard when you're wearing masks, um, they were saying that they felt like the Pesh gave my skin a little bit more life. So it does come with a refill. So you get another refill along with the little cushion here so that is good so this product yes it is 210 dollars for this foundation it does have the famous la prairie skin caviar extract in it that is supposed to boost your elasticity kind of smooth and refine the texture of your face and this is a complete splurge it was actually included in an article that i read about the like 12 best foundations for more mature skin and i was laughing because i had many of the foundations that were already listed such as the La Mer foundation, the Clay de Poe, um, the foundation, and the Clay de Poe radiant cushion. It included specifically the Skin Caviar Essence in Foundation. It does have the infamous La Prairie skin care benefits included in this foundation yes it is expensive and it is just one that i needed to give a try since my dear friend was telling me that it was a must i've also been asked if i would do a review on this for set from several of you people so so i will do a whole review on this foundation but for today i just thought we would put this on we're playing with a little bit of the new makeup that we got especially the dior Quint. So I'm going to move on to eyes next while we let this sink into the skin. But so far, you guys, I have to say it feels fantastic on my skin. This is what I feel like with this one. Whenever I want my skin to look like flawless and amazing, I pull out this one. It just has something magical. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on my skin. So yes, these are splurge worthy items if you're intrigued, but clearly there are a ton of other foundations that I love just as much that are a fraction of the cost, but I know that some of you wanted to know about that. So, okay, let's move on. I am going to now put on the infamous blue eyeshadow. Now we've let this kind of sink into the skin and as you can see you guys it's got a nice little radiant glow also has a little bit of velvetness to it so it's kind of a little bit one of those hybrid kind of foundations um, that kind of again lets your skin peek out it's going to look like skin but better so i do enjoy that and again it feels like absolutely nothing on the skin um, not heavy at all and that was the one thing I was going to say is I really love the look of that clay de peau radiant cushion um, but it really did feel heavy by the end of the day so I think for somebody with really dry skin I think you would love that I do have dry skin but not like super super dry if that makes sense let's go ahead and warm up the skin I'm going to use my little favorite bronzer here and we're using the Gucci and this is in shade two. So I'm just going to warm up my skin just a little bit. Next, we're going to use the new holiday blush from Dior. And you guys, this is a true favorite. So it does have a little bit of sheen to it, um, kind of a little bit of a glow, but it's not too sparkly and such because I don't like that either. As I said, it kind of reminds me of uh, Orgasm by NARS, but it just is kind of pretty. It's got a little bit of gold reflection in it. This gives you a really nice sort of highlighted glow on your skin and fr quite frankly I feel like you really only need this not the highlighter that they did sell with this as well because this one has kind of a built-in highlighter in it. That's what I would say. So just kind of a fresh little glow on the skin and then are you guys ready? We're gonna have a little fun. 
Okay, now many of you think I have gone completely crazy, and you may be correct. Yep, I bought this. <laughs> this is the Dior Quint in denim, and you guys, this is sort of scary. It is bringing vibes back from the 80s, 90s when I grew up. Um, in high school, you guys, I absolutely loved blue eyeliner. I always had the Clinique little quick liner. It was in some sort of blue sky or something. And that's pretty much what I would just wear is a little eyeliner and mascara, but I have always loved my blues. Um, but this one looked a little bit intense. So I'm going to show you, I'm just going to do a really simple eye. I've already played with this and it is really pretty you guys, but we are going to do not like a huge dramatic look with this. We're just going to use this Abbey style very simply. Okay, we're going to start out with this beautiful kind of sandy gold shade. And that's what we're going to put all over my lid here. So I'm going to take this. So I just placed that sort of sandy gold shade mostly on my lid here and then I took whatever was left on my brush and I just put a little bit up in that brow bone and this is just a really simple pretty and this is just a really simple wash sort of a gold sand color and then you guys this one right over here is so pretty and we're just going to put a little brush of this kind of on the V and I'm going to use I'm going to use my Rowan everything eye brush. I'm just going to come just into this prettiness over here and I'm going to come over to the V and we're going to place a little bit of that on the outer V kind of almost bringing it a little bit into the middle of that eye. Okay, you guys, I love this shade right here, and it's not going to look too intense. Now, I am not, I'm bypassing this one today, haven't gotten brave enough for that, but I am going to take a mix of this beautiful shade and this, and I'm using it kind of as liner. So I'm taking this kind of like cobalt kind of blue first, and I'm going to put this close to my lash line. A little pop there. We've got a little bit of the cobalt blue kind of down by the lash line. And then I'm going to take this super pretty teal color right here. We're going to play with a couple of eyeliners as well, but I just want to show you how to use this one first. And then I am going to take a little bit of that and I'm just running that close on top. The two of those mixed together looks really pretty.
Okay, guys, playing with this blue here. Then I pulled out two of my favorite eyeliners, and these are from Chanel. So Marine is one of my absolute favorites, and this is going to be a lovely deep kind of cobalt blue color or marine color and then we've got intense teal which again is another kind of a pretty shade here so I'm going to show you each of these so this one is marine and then this is intense teal so I'm going to run the marine up on the top lash line here playing around with that blue and I'm just kind of wiggling, kind of filling in the waterline on the top, right there. Then I'm going to take Intense Teal, and we're going to run a little bit of that in the waterline on the bottom. Then we're going to smudge this a little bit. Now the key to this is clearly mascara. It will kind of bring everything together and not quite look as 90s. Now again, you could do a little less intense if you didn't want to do the teal on the waterline. You could just stick with that cobalt. You could just stick with the marine for a little softer look. Okay guys, let me go put on loads of mascara and then just show you how it's not so scary after all. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, we've got the denim eye quint on and you know what? Yep, it's bringing back some 80s and 90s vibe, but I kind of like it and I actually think it's a little bit wearable. Now, I did put on teal eyeliner on the bottom um, that you wouldn't have to do. So you could take that away. But... This little shade here is just very neutral, nice kind of gold. And then I used this, this, and this. I did bypass this one over here. That's just a little bit, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna use. That's a little bit bright. I think it's beautiful, but I'm not quite ready for that. So just I'm easing in with the blue eyeshadow at all. But I do love this color over here just as a little accent color on the outer V. And so this is my first attempt at doing a little denim look. Then we're going to end with the perfect nude lip. And one of you subscribers had told me that the perfect nude lip is Victoria Beckham. And this is a did lip pencil in number two along with the shade pixie so you guys this is one of these kind of very light pale kind of colors here but you guys it is gorgeous so you were right it is like the perfect little lip combo so I'm gonna first put this little lip liner on in shade number two and let me give you a swatch so it's just really pretty so this is number two and then here is this really pretty kind of lipstick. This is in Pixie, and it just really makes your lips kind of have a nice little reflection. It is really pretty, and I, of course, love this formula. So I'm going to line these real quick. We want a simple look since we're going with a little bit bolder eye. I'm also using the lip liner just to kind of fill in my lips in general, give them a little base. Then I'm taking Pixie. And then we've got a nice little nude lip on to kind of balance out the more intense eye. And this is the shade Pixie plus the lip liner in number two. Okay guys, we've got a little bit of blue eyeshadow on, kind of feeling the 80s vibes. And 
So far what we've got, we've got the La Prairie, the Skin Caviar Essence in Foundation. So this is what it's looking like around this time. Then we've got our Denim Little Eye Quad. I'm kind of surprised at myself, but I'm actually really loving this. Just a touch. It's kind of different. It's kind of fun. It's kind of a little bit of a throwback as well to my little 80s, 90s kind of love affair with blue eyeliner. So this has been kind of a fun little get. Then also I am in love with the Dior blush and this one here. You guys, this really is pretty if you can get your hands on it. It is going to have a little bit of highlighter built into it. So to me, this is one stop shop, kind of a pretty little flush of color. It does remind me of orgasm. So if you already have that, maybe this could be a pass, but if not, and you kind of like that perfect kind of pink, pinky kind of peach color with a little bit of gold in it. I think you're going to love this one. So that has been a win for me. And then of course we've got the perfect little nude lip. We've got Pixie along with Victoria Beckham um, number two. And you are right. I really like this. I'm finding that it doesn't wash me out and just kind of really enjoying that. Oh yeah. And we used our little Gucci bronzer love this one guys so okay we have had a little fun playing with some new makeup i'm going to be back with another review where it'll be more of a subtle true abby look this is in uh naked or this is in nude dress and this one I know I'm just going to love. So we will play with that one next. I've got some other fun goodies showing up. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. And I will be back with another video soon.